very short uh, press briefing to tell you the outcome of the meeting that has just been rounded up between the President and the 36 uh, state uh, governors. I recall that this meeting um, um, was called at the instance of Mr. President to intimate the state governors about what is happening, what the federal government is doing, and to also hear from the state governors their input about issues of development in this country. A lot of uh, um, issues were discussed about the security situation in the country, the apparent uh, food issue that uh, the media has also been reporting about, and some other measures that will help in improving the state of our nation. Now, the first point is that uh, a committee, uh, the governors and Mr. President have agreed to set up a committee to deepen the conversation that has happened at the just concluded meeting. Of course, you know that uh, it is impossible to um, complete most of the issues that were raised at the meeting. So it's going to be a continuous one. Secondly, the Mr. President and the governors have agreed that these kind of meetings will continue in the interest of our nation. It is important that all the time the federal government and the state governors who are leaders at the sub-national level to continue to engage and interact collectively so that issues of national importance will continue to be addressed and we don't leave room for any speculation or for people who may seize the opportunity to say things that are not in the interest of our country. First, the National Security Advisor the Director General of the State Services, the Inspector General of Police, have been directed to coordinate with the state governors to look at the issue of those holding commodities. At this point, that, <clears throat> at this point that the nation requires food to be brought out to the people so that we can control prices and put food on the table of most Nigerians. Other commodity traders are busy holding these commodities so that Nigerians will suffer or they will make more money as a result. So the governors and Mr. President have taken this decision that uh, security agencies will cooperate or collaborate with the state governors to ensure that this ends. Number two, a decision has also been taken that in the interest of our country, there will be no need for food importation at this point. Nigeria has the potential to feed itself and even be a next exporter of food items to other countries. And we do not also want to reverse some of the progress we have seen in terms of food production in this country. What we are seeing now is just a temporary a difficulty that will soon go away. Therefore, the solution to it is by continuous investment in agriculture so that food can be made available to all Nigerians. Of course, you know that Mr. President has declared emergency in agriculture many months ago. And therefore, part of the measures that he has taken is to ensure that investments, more investments are made in this sector for the benefit of our people. The governors has, have also agreed to join hands with Mr. President to deepen their own investment in the agricultural sector so that more food will be made available to Nigerians. 
Um, of course, this investment is not just in crop production, it is also in livestock development and management. All this is to ensure that food is available. In the area of security, Mr. President and the state governors have all agreed that at this point we are seeing significant improvement in security situation around the country. Of course, this is not to say that the security situation has been solved completely, but we have seen significant improvement. In Borno, for example, areas where farmers have not been able to cultivate as a result of security, those farmers have not returned to their farms. It is also the same thing in Jigawa and many parts of the country. The governors, including the governor of Plateau State, has also attested to the fact that despite all the challenges that we are having, there appears to be improvement in security in these areas. Of course, like I said, the situation has not been completely, completely been solved. The security situation has not been completely solved, but we are seeing uh, a positive movement towards a secure Nigeria. Mr. President and the governors also thank the security agencies for the work they are doing. Some of them even paying supreme uh, price with their lives to ensure that Nigerians have a secured uh, environment. They have thanked Mr. President for all that he's doing and they've also asked him to do more so that at the end of the day, we will have a completely secured Nigeria. Now, in this direction, Mr. President and the state governors have also discussed the possibility of improving the numeric strength of forest rangers to train them so that they can keep our forest and our borders very safe. Now, there is also a discussion around the issue of state police. The federal government and the state governments are mulling the possibility of setting up state police. Of course, this is still going to be further discussed. A lot of work has to be done in that direction, but both the federal government and the state governments are agreeing to the necessity of having state police. Now, this is a significant shift, but like I said, more work needs to be done in that direction. A lot of meetings will have to happen between the federal government and the subnationals to see the modalities of achieving this. Now, these are some of the issues that have, have been uh, uh, discussed. And Mr. President has also called on the state governors to join hands with the federal government to provide more for our people, especially the teeming youth population. There will going to be a joint program between the state governments and the federal government to ensure that uh, our teeming youth population is gainfully employed so that we reduce to the barest minimum the issue of unemployment in the country. At the end of it all, the Title VI state governors and Mr. President are all on one page, irrespective of political differences, to ensure that Nigeria remains peaceful, Nigeria remains united, Nigeria remains prosperous going forward. And this kind of conversation, like I said, will continue to be deepened. Engagement between the federal government and the state governors will continue. Thank you very much.